Build the God Squad you've always wanted. InstantMuckCoins.com. Instant delivery, cheapest prices, 24-7 support. Use code CC, 15% off. EA tax 10% is covered. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We are here today doing something a little bit different. Different is sometimes good, different is sometimes bad. This different is the NFL offseason. Everyone, there's been trades, there's free agency, it's all going on. And right now, there's a lot of people, a lot of teams making some big moves. Everyone has the highest aspirations and goals for their team. Everyone, everyone's a Super Bowl contender right now. Everyone thinks they're going to win the Super Bowl. So what we are doing today, it's uh, March 18th. We're taking rosters as up-to-date as possible. And we're going to simulate a season for the, 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 the 2020 season, essentially, to see how everyone does. I think the biggest thing everyone wants to see, how are the Browns going to do? How does Madden think the simulation is going to occur? So we're going to go through that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the rosters as they are. Uh, we're going to load up into a, a franchise to simulate the season. We're going to turn injuries off as well. We don't want I, I, I don't want that to come into play. I don't want the RNG there. But we're going to go and take a look and see how good or bad this really turns out for a lot of these teams. As we see here, here is the updated rosters. It's taken all of the the overalls and you know the roster changes that were throughout the year, and we're. You know, we've got like Golden Tate, Kevin Zietler on the Giants. But of course, everyone knows when you guys want everyone wants to see the Browns, Odell, Beckham, Kareem Hunt is, is, is on here as well. Uh, apparently, uh, they have him on here still, Olivier Vernon, etc. Uh, even like some of the latest changes as well, which was like Mark Barron heading to the Steelers. I believe there he is. So, this is the roster we're going to be using. We're going to load up and we're going to see how good or bad these teams do. Me, I'm a Falcons fan. I would love to see us do well. So let's go. Let's check it out. Let's see. The Patriots going to repeat? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the Chiefs take it. Maybe it's the Browns. I hope it's the Falcons. I, 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 I hope it's the Falcons. So for the sake of this, I have to pick a team. So I'm going to just pick the Falcons. I'm a Falcons guy. That's who I'm going to take. Uh, the starting point, what we want to do. Uh, we're going to start at the regular season. Uh, my role here doesn't really matter. And let's go through the league settings as well, just so we can sort of see what's going to happen. So we'll leave the trade, de trade deadline off here. Uh, we want to disable trades. The coach firing. The salary cap we're going to leave is on. Injuries off. Pre-existing injuries off. No practice squad ceiling, whatever that is. Uh, and we'll let progressions happen uh weekly we'll go with weekly so we're going to do all of this full control i'm not going to touch anything else this is the way we are in our season we're going to be starting i i have no idea what's going to happen but hopefully your favorite team does well as long as your favorite team doesn't win the super bowl unless you happen to be a falcons fan obviously then it's okay to win the super bowl but i uh my prediction is going to be the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. That's my prediction. I think that's what's going to happen. Could be wrong. Could be right. I'm going Chiefs Saints Super Bowl in this. So we're going to see how it is. Uh, we'll, we'll go through and we'll see all the simulations and all that as well. And we'll keep up to date. We'll probably simulate a couple weeks, maybe like four weeks at a time. And we'll see how it goes. So we've simulated now four Weeks. Let's see. Uh, let's see the standings. Let's see how everyone's doing here. Uh, the Raiders. Let's take a look at each division here. So we've got the Ravens sitting atop the AFC North at three and one. The Browns, Bengals, and Steelers all holding at two and two. Titans and Colts holding up the South. The Texans at one and three. Kind of surprising. The Jags. Can't win. <laughs> Clockwork. The Patriots, 4-0. Why not, right? And then the Raiders at 4-0. The Chargers at 3-1. The Chiefs at 2-2. Kind of surprising there. The North, we got the Packers and the Bears sitting up top. Nothing crazy there. Uh, in the South, we've got the Falcons at 2-2. The Panthers, 1-2. They, I guess they had a bye already. We're getting at it by people. What is going on? 
Uh, the Eagles and the Redskins, both undefeated, and the Giants traded away Odell. Kept Eli. 3-1. and one. The Cowboys at 1-3. I don't, I, I, I don't believe that one. And then right here in the NFC West, the 49ers at 3-1. and one, The Seahawks at 3-1. and one, The Rams and the Cardinals both at 2-2. Two and two. A little odd. Uh, let's go look at... Uh, we'll, we'll do stats. We'll, we'll wait to do stats. We're going to simulate uh, to mid-season here. We'll be back. We'll see... You know, we'll look at stats. We'll see all the standings as well. Maybe things change. Now, midway through the season... Let's see. We got two undefeated teams on the Giants. What? Okay. All right. Whatever. Uh, AFC North, the Browns back on top at 5-3. and three. The Ravens, the Steelers. Everyone's in contention here. Everyone's a game apart. Minimum. Over here in the AFC South. Again, everything's pretty close. Texans came back. The Jags won a couple games. Nobody is dominating over there. The Pats at 8-0. No. What, what's new? And the West, the Raiders started 4 0, now back to 4 and 3. They lost three in a row. Meanwhile, the Chiefs sitting kind of out of it. Will the Chargers take the lead there? The NFC North, the Packers and the Bears still leading the way. The Vikings, though, 1 and 7. Don't, I, I don't know how I agree with that. NFC South, the Falcons at 4 and 3. The Saints at 2 and 5. The Panthers, the Bucks, 1 and 6. Historically, one of the best divisions uh, in football. Not looking that according to Madden. NFC East, the Cowboys fighting the Eagles. The Eagles at 8 no. the Giants at 6-2. and two. That's got to be the the biggest surprise. Uh, and then the Cardinals, Rams, and Seahawks all still fighting right there. So let's go take, let's, let's see who who's doing good, right? Stats, I want to see some league leaders. I want to see some league leaders. Yearly awards, who is leading the charge we got Tom Brady and Carson Wentz leading the MVP. Matt Ryan, Saquon, balling out for them. Sam Darnold, David Johnson, Baker Mayfield. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, we have offensive player in the year in the AFC right now. Looks like Deshaun Watson. Okay. Le'Veon Bell is on the Steelers. He shouldn't be on the Steelers. Maybe that's a mistake. Uh... This roster, Whew, okay. Uh, defensive player of the year, Miles Jacket. I don't know about all that. The Eagles, Nigel Bradham. A couple Eagles on here. Lorenzo, Car Lorenzo Carter and Alec Ogletree, both in defensive player of the year. Okay. And over here we got uh, we got this. Okay, not too bad. Let's actually let's get to the end of the season now. Uh, I believe we can advance to playoffs. So we're going to send them to the playoffs. Let's see how everything goes. Let's see who makes playoffs. We have made it to the playoffs. <sighs> Let's see who made it. Playoff schedule. So this week we got the Browns making the playoffs, playing at the Colts, the Giants at the Cardinals, the Titans at the Raiders, the Rams at the Falcons. And then who got the buys? Does not going to show us. Okay, so we're going to have to go look at the standings here. Uh, and let's see. The Patriots ended up at 14 and 2. Okay, so the AFC North winner was still the Steelers. The Browns have made the wild card. I see. I could see something like this kind of happening. You know, nothing too crazy. Both spots right here taking the Colts and the Titans. The Texans just miss it. Titans even lost their last two. The AFC East, obviously the Patriots dominated. And the AFC West, my pick, the Chiefs didn't even make it. They didn't even make it. They choked. They lost their last two. The Chargers lost their last three. What is happening? Okay. The NFC North, the Packers walked away with it by three games. Maybe surprising. The Falcons at 9-7 and seven, taking the division here. I'd be happy with this. The Giants. Hmm. Maybe Gettleman knows what he's doing. I don't know. Maybe he does. And over here, the Cardinals winning the division. That is crazy. That's crazy. Right? That's crazy. Let's look at the awards. Our MVP? It's Tom, it's Tom, it's Tom Brady. It's 
Tom Brady. Our coach of the year, Griffin Murphy. I don't know how someone else didn't win that. Uh, offensive player of the year, Tom Brady. Defensive player of the year, Miles Jack. Don't like the way that they're doing this part. Cleo Mack. I mean, you could always see Cleo Mack doing that. Carson Wentz. Let's look at some stats. How did... Who led the league? Who led the league this year? Oh, come on. Come on. All NFL. 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 Carson Wentz led the league with 4,649 yards passing, 40 touchdowns. Tom Brady had 47 touchdowns. That was pretty good. Best running back in the league apparently was Le'Veon Bell on the Steelers. Don't know how he got back on the Steelers, but he's back on the Steelers. Todd Gurley coming in right there. 1,500 yards. Saquon. Oh, Saquon had a good year. Edge in 5.8. I'll take Saquon's year. Alvin Kamara. Just dominant. I mean, running back position is easy. Easy there. Most receptions, Zach Ertz. Never a shock. Golden T <laughs> leads the league in receiving. Ball <laughs> what? Okay, I'm just, I'm I'm not gonna lie. After Adam Humphries did the uh, New Hopkins, Edelman, Cole Beasley. Interesting. Okay, defensively, Miles Jack won because he had the most tackles. Get some sacks and some interceptions. Who led the league in sacks? <laughs> Twenty-one sacks by Khalil Mack. 16 and a half sacks by Darius Leonard. What is happening? Miles Garrett, Preston Smith, Lorenzo Carter. That's why the that's why the Giants did well. Only four INTs. That's fair. Let's go and let's see who is going to win this this Super Bowl. Let's advance the week. Wild card week. Do my Falcons advance? Do the Browns advance? Do the Raiders advance? These are kind of interesting questions here. So we're gonna take a look. The wild card round. The Browns. The Browns advance. The Giants advance. The Raiders fell. And my Falcons fell. That's fair. Browns at Patriots. Titans at Steelers. Giants at Eagles. Rams at Packers. Are the this interest this is interesting things to do no advance week next week are the browns gonna beat the patriots on the road does ea love the browns does ea love the browns not quite not quite they just barely lost while the eagles took down the giants the steelers took down the titans and the rams Took down the Packers. Let's look at the box score of this game. I'm kind of curious. How did this game end? Both quarterbacks played pretty good. I wish there was a way to see all that. Uh... Any fumbles? Kareem Hunt. Losing the game. Maybe. Maybe. Odell. Uh, Brown, I mean, hey guys, if you guys are a Browns fan and you knew that you made it that far, you'd be pretty happy this year, right? Like, I imagine you would. So we've got... It's pretty chalky. The Patriots and the Steelers seem to always be there. The Eagles and the Rams, the last two representatives for the NFC. The Pro Bowl... Does anybody care about the Pro Bowl still? I don't think anybody can. Nobody, nobody actually cares about the Pro Bowl anymore, right? Let's get to the Super Bowl. Let's see here. Are we getting the Patriots-Eagles? Are we getting the Patriots-Rams? The Steelers. The Steelers and the Eagles. A Pennsylvania matchup. Oh. Wow. That'll retire Tom Brady, I'm sure, right? So here we go. Steelers at Eagles. Which who, who's happy? Steelers or Eagles? I gotta go with I think the I think the Eagles take it. I think 
This is this sounds like an Eagles game. Let's see. Postseason. The Eagles are our Super Bowl champions, winning the game fifteen to seven. If you guys want to see me like simulate the game and like run through it, all that, that's just that's a lot. But the Eagles dominated throughout the year. I mean they they won a lot of games here at the end. They lost to the Rams early on at the end of the year. They came back. They beat them when it mattered. They beat the Giants. The Eagles, Madden, you guys are going to win the Super Bowl, apparently. The Browns are making the playoffs. The Raiders are making the playoffs. The Giants are making the That's No. No, I agree with a lot of stuff. And I can find a fantasy, but I do not think the Giants are making the playoffs. Oh, especially at that division. You're giving me another team? I mean, Washington signed a bunch of people. The Dallas is pretty good. It's like, I don't think the Giants. The Cardinals? They don't even have Kyler Murray in this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit of different content. A little bit of fun. Uh, we'll probably do something like this again after the draft. Once rosters get updated again and see how this affects our results. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. I am CeCe, as always, and I'm out. Peace.